everybody, this is Evan Holbert. Thanks for tuning in with Blood Rock Media. Here with Dave and Matt from Dead. Aftershock. Uh, Dude. So how's it treating you? So good. Dude, thank you so much to all the fans that came out. So many people what like actually coming show. out to the Capitol stage today. So Okay, so in a in a really realistic twist from everything that I've looked at and heard from you guys, you guys are realistically the next up and coming slipknot. Um, the next Hollywood Undead, the next big I mean, we blind. wish. We don't know. It's, but it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not we wish, man. It's what the internet says. How do you guys feel about having a label like that put on you guys? Um, Shirt Tone's like, been amazing to us. Uh, Jordan's been like everything that we could ever ask for. Um, it's really, uh, it's just a blessing, but it's an opportunity too. Like, it's not a guarantee. There's nothing that just says, like, do this and then you can be this. All right. You, you know, you gotta work. And, Honestly, and we, enjoy we, the work. we don't we don't fear the label. We we, we are literally just ourselves, and we yeah. feel confident that we are just being ourselves. We embrace everything that we have. We, we love those bands that you described. Like we we fucking love those bands. Like we we love a lot of bands. We check them out every night. We're a part of everything every night. Yeah, we're still music junkies. Like you know, we but go and like nice. like we do all these festivals, thing. and like yeah. all of our favorite bands are playing like all the time. And we actually really do love like going to like all the shows and actually making sure that we're actually um, paying attention to like what they're doing, like what the sh- you know what it sounds like, yeah. you know, crowd reaction, all that stuff. All right. So when when you guys look at a band that's on a big stage that you guys are going to be playing with, what do you look for in another band that that draws your attention? Um, a commanding factor, like they own the crowd. All right. We see so many similarities with, with, with ourselves, with those bands, and, you know, like you said, like, commanding faction, like, grab the crowd, get the crowd into what you're doing, because that's what you're doing. Like, you want to share what you're doing with everyone. All right. Yeah. You want that uh, ultimate connect. So. so, you guys are here at Aftershock. Do you guys have tour plans after this? Where are you, where are you guys looking to play after this? Um, we do. Um, we're doing a Loudwire uh, Awards tomorrow. Nice. Uh, like the pre-party. Uh, nice. We're playing like Beartooth and Congratulations. And, That's an awesome gig to be you know, at. It's really cool. Um, yeah. We got nominated for uh, Best New Artist, and it's, it's really just an honor. Do you like, know who you you're know? up against in the category? We do. And, uh, Can it's, I get it, that? Who, who are you up against? It's like Black Map and like uh, Greta Van Fleet and you know some other bands. And, All right, so you guys are up against some titles. Yeah, there. yeah, like it's not nothing. How do you guys and, feel uh, about that? You guys honestly, think like, you guys got the edge? We are honored to be a part yeah, of that Yeah, like I think like, it's really good just, to be just... Just so, made. That's like really cool. Just to be considered is like anything like that. Like yeah. that's such a cool. Just thing, in the so. conversation is, is really cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's just you know we're gonna do like a, a presentation for like a band that's gonna be playing live and all well, that. That's but, awesome. In all so, honesty, yeah. like we were more excited to find out we were playing a show for the pre-party with Beartooth and yeah. the Avatar. We're doing it with... Uh, that's, the band. that's so great that yeah, you guys yeah, are excited like, for, so for the yeah, little bit like, less uh, than the spotlight. No, that's cool. phenomenal. Just, I mean, just to play, like, we always joke yeah, about, yeah. like, we'd play twice a day if we could. Yeah? We really, we really like <laughs> I yeah. bet that gets tiring on the hands and no, on the legs. No, man, yeah. like, not at all. Like, not, not really. Uh, we actually kind of do play twice a day. Like, yeah. I, my warm-ups, yeah. his warm-ups, like, yeah. we all, like, actually do. It's just a lot of fun to play. We really like, get into our instruments. We, we just really like it, so. All right, Nothing so, crazy. big festivals to small venues. What do you, what do you gentlemen prefer to have? There's pros and cons guys? to both. There's no preference, I think. We yeah. find we find the good and the bad in both. A good crowd is a good crowd. All always. right. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's thirty or if it's thirty thousand. Like we've played everything in between. We have played to nobody, and we have played to so many people that we can't even see. Like what's the, the end biggest of the crowd audience. you guys have ever played to? Um, I think a couple I think of Sonic th- Boom took it. Dude, Honestly. Sonic Boom was really big. Uh, Sonic, Sonic Boom, Boom was really big. huge. That was um, and like shout out to Sonic Boom for our first yeah. our first official circle pit. Like you guys, nice congratulations. Sort of, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. We finally broke the ice and, to the to the like all right, Vikings. So that we hold wanted. on. Yeah. Do you <laughs> aim for a pit? <laughs> we want them. We want, want to, yeah. we, we want the people to. The camaraderie, like, the family, everybody yeah, dashing yeah. around. Yeah. I, I kind of miss the old school like jumping around pits. I you know the the, the newer stuff like swinging fists and swinging kicks and stuff. I don't hate it, but it is kind of hard for other people to join in and like have it be like a thing for, you know, the whole community. Mm-hmm. But if you can do it smart and you can do it safe, I think that's kind of cool. I, I like the people that respect, you know, everyone around them. 
that's kind of what we're looking for. It's kind of crazy because our fan base really embraces the bounce. And we right. like to go with the bounce. Yeah. And that's different from our bands in the past. We went for what kind of David was talking about before with that kind of a aggressive release in a positive manner at a rock show. Like, All right. that's, we, that's what we like. You know, feel good, be aggressive, you know, fucking be violent, you know, be yourself. <laughs> be and yourself. It's just yeah. be yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's that's where you can fucking if do you it. If you pick somebody else up off the ground, it, you get in the fucking, pit and you have a good time. You know? Yeah. All right. Just pick somebody yeah. up and don't let them fall and Absolutely. feel good. That's all. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's wrap up with, with a rather serious question. It's 2017. There's a lot of music going around. There's another band in the garage. What advice would you give that band to get out of that garage? What What advice would you give to an up and coming band that has a bunch of guys just trying to gig it out of the bar? Write as much as possible. Write as many songs and find out why those songs don't work and write more songs and then find out why those songs don't work and then write more songs. Yeah. And then find out why those songs don't work and then write more songs. Yeah. And you're going to have to do that over and over again until you you find out that those songs work and they work with a group of people. Essentially, if you do songwriting correctly, it's just trial and error. It's always a work in progress. Like, you'll, you'll never master it. And if you think you mastered it, you're doing something. You're on a, that, you're on a uh, bad honestly, spin. Honestly, no, that's, that's, that's a like, really eloquent answer. That's a no, I've, I've heard a lot of things from bands. There's but, no other yeah. thing to say to you, like, other than, like, you can't, I can't hand you the formula, but it's, it's all through perseverance of finding out why that song didn't work and writing the next yeah. song. And finding out why that song didn't work and writing write the next song. Essentially, if, if you do it correctly, you're going to write more songs that you don't release then you release all right you gotta write the bad ones it's like, you know, like <laughs> yeah it's like yeah. cooking like you're gonna make a lot of bad meals don't give it to anyone you know it's bad but you have to do it so you be like you know what next time i need to do this i need to try this and, and this is is a little bit more what i'm looking for and you know what I, I i thought i needed that but you know what i actually needed this 